Hello everybody, welcome. I'm Michelle Anderson here with my colleague Jose Frank Ballester and we are clarinet teachers at the University of British Columbia. We're going to share some of the Zoom advanced audio settings and how this can affect your sound if you're teaching a music lesson online. So Jose is kindly volunteering to be a clarinet student today and we're going to demonstrate what happens as we change the audio settings. We're going to start with the new Zoom audio settings that you would find by going to your Zoom preferences audio and um, the first thing you want to do is just make sure that you have the right microphone set up. If you have an external microphone, click on that. Adjust the volume, which you can test on your own, but I want to look at the advanced options. And um, we've already got Jose set up with this. The new feature in early September is high fidelity music mode. That's something we want to test out and show you what it sounds like. So, Jose, if you wouldn't mind um, just playing something simple and then we're going to disable some of these advanced options and see what we hear differently. Sure. <laughs> So that sounds pretty good. And I have to say this new high fidelity music mode, that's the best I've heard clarinet sound on Zoom. So I'm very pleased with that. So Jose, can you turn that off? Sure. So turn off the high fidelity music mode and we still have enable original sound, which is a nice feature, but let's see what happens when we take out high fidelity. <laughs> Of course, Jose sounds so good. He even sounds pretty good on that setting. But what I perceive is a little bit more distortion and a little bit more buzz. So let's turn off your original sound and see what happens with the basic Zoom default, which is really optimized for vocal conversations. Where is the original sound? So original sound, if your students have turned it on, it's on by default. And on the Zoom screen where we see our faces, it usually shows up in the upper left corner and there'll be an option to turn it off. Got it. Luck luckily, it's usually a default on once we've activated it. But here's what it sounds like without original sound. Okay, so I've definitely heard Zoom doctor the sound a lot more than that, but what we notice is his sounds a little bit blockier and it's trying to level the dynamics a little bit and cutting off some notes. So definitely the best option is original sound on, high fidelity music mode on. If you have a stereo mic, there's also an option to enable stereo audio. This will take a little more bandwidth on your computer, but it definitely makes the sound better so that we can have a great lesson. So Jose, um, thank you so much. It sounds wonderful, and I think we definitely prefer the new Zoom audio options. Maybe we can do it once with everything on. Let's put everything everybody. back on. So we've just heard the worst option. It's a great idea, and now we'll hear it back with the best option. <laughs> So even what I hear on the last note Jose played, he went from louder to softer. I actually could hear that. Whereas without these advanced options, all the sound is the same. So this really will enable us to hear musicality and tone much better. Thank you, Jose. You sound beautiful. Thank you, Michelle, for all your help. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Hope that gives you some options with new Zoom audio settings.